<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's My name is Amanda Bucci and I am an Instagrammer, a YouTuber, a podcast host of my own podcast, Bucci Radio. I'm also the owner of an online educational company where I teach people how to utilize social media and turn it into a business for themselves. I have been a fitness coach in the past. I've also been a bikini competitor in the past, powerlifting competitor in the past, and also I'm a Barbell Brigade athlete. I got into fitness when I was about 16 years old and the reason behind my intro into the actual gym life was unlike a lot of people, I wasn't good at sports. I actually got into fitness because in middle school, going into freshman year of high school, I developed exercise-induced asthma. So my mom got me into the gym, she got me a personal trainer. My first exposure into the actual gym was an athlete training strength and conditioning program for high school kids. And from there, I kind of just turned it into a career for me. And yeah, I'm just on a journey of finding what makes my life most fulfilling. This one too? Yeah. See it? Breakfast? That's your breakfast? So when I first moved to LA, again, I had no really intentions of switching my career. I was a junior in college. A friend of mine wanted me to come out to LA with her and I was like, no, I have no money, no job. What are we gonna do? We drove across the country. It was terrifying. The first day that I got out here, I hustled and did six to seven day a week waitressing, bike riding back and forth to my apartment. And just being here, being in the fitness community, cause it's so fitness minded out here. I worked out at Gold's Gym Venice where so many bodybuilders and people that did fitness as a job lived here and I was able to kind of see what could be for me. So I just like fully immersed myself into it all while practicing for studying for my nursing exam. But the thing that was stopping me was that I was already doing fitness coaching, sponsorships, Instagram, YouTube, the bodybuilding.com, spokesmodel search, barbell brigade, all this stuff. And it was working really well. So made the decision to just not continue pursuing nursing. I was like, you know what? I still have my degree. I can use it if I ever want to in the future. But I, honestly, I feel like I found like, I know exactly what I need to do. So I just moved forward, did it, and I never looked back. What's going on everyone? Welcome to today's video. I am so excited about this video today because it is my Los Angeles apartment tour. So come on in. Welcome. We are going to start right here. Pass so. me the camera lens, babe. Okay. Yeah. This is the biggest pink bag. Oh, favorite. This one's my absolute favorite. I got this at FitCon in London and I'm like obsessed with it. <laughs> this lens is a wide angle lens and I'll put it in the description box as well for you guys, but I just got it and you can like see everything. This lens, it's awesome. <laughs> and like I also have my degree <laughs> that's not in the correct it's all it does not stay like I don't know why I ordered this frame off of Amazon <laughs> bye <laughs> So my usual day is kind of just wake up and I have a morning routine I usually do. I like to journal what my day's gonna look like. I like to write down like what I'm grateful for, what my goals are for the day and kind of the schedule for the day. And then I take 10 minutes to meditate. It kind of just gets me not thinking about everything, not stressing about me starting my day and just like pushing forward into like the work that I have to do. I usually also have meetings with my team on conference calls in the morning, outlining podcasts, scripting some YouTube videos, kind of strategizing my content for the rest of the week. I do like to focus on fitness because that's kind of how I grew it, but I do also like to talk about mindset stuff, personal development stuff, and what I mean by that is kind of just the kind of perspectives that you have to have and the way that you have to think in order to live a happy, healthy, successful life. So whether that has to do with the way that you focus on eating, the way that you focus on your training, the way that you focus on your relationships, the way that you focus on your business, anything like that. With the podcast, I have an audience that I've built for myself, but there's so many amazing people that have all these other insights and knowledge and they're experts on things that I can bring on my podcast and share with my audience. And we get to have like a really in-depth, thoughtful conversation. And sometimes I'll do like a client call every single week with my students. 
and then to kind of just, yeah, strategizing for the future and planning ahead, because I'm really thinking long-term with my businesses. I'm not just like, when's the next sponsorship post I can make on Instagram? It's like, what am I gonna be doing in five, 10, 15, 20 years? So those are usually my day-to-day -day type of things. And then if I get to get out on like later in the night or on the weekends, I like am exploring with friends or something like that. I love, love bringing people who don't really come here to the Santa Monica Pier. It's so fun. We like go up in the Ferris wheel, go on the roller coaster. There's like a whole theme park down there. And the Santa Monica Promenade is like the shopping center there. And I just really like to go get some good food, relax, go shopping, be by the beach, be by the water and just like relax with friends. And everything that I kind of need is within walking distance. It's really great too. And it's just kind of the ocean breeze and the relaxing vibe. The people around here, a lot of my friends live around here now and I've just kind of found like I felt where I fit in. And, yeah, that's what I like to do if I get to go out and explore. So Nadim and Evan came today to film this video with me. It's like super awesome of them. They usually don't come down this side because they live all the way downtown. So I got to take them to the Third Street Promenade and we walked around and we shopped and we got some coffee. And yeah, we went to a bunch of different stores. They tried on some leggings with me. It was awesome. We had some like collaborations on different kinds of leggings that we all like to wear. It was really great. It's really cool because there's like performers sometimes in the middle of the promenade. It's definitely just like a tourist outdoor shopping location that's really fun to go to. But it was also just super nice to catch up with both of them and go take them to the pier. We like all went out to lunch and get food at True Fruit Kitchen. So it was just really nice to be able to catch up with the both of them and hang out and show them where I live. So it was really nice that they were able to come all the way out here. So all the remnants of the food that we did not eat. Everyone's cleaning. Thanks, Dan. Maya. This past weekend at Big Bear with Barbell Brigade was absolutely amazing and I am so blessed and happy that they invited me to their company retreat weekend. It's a weekend for everybody involved in Barbell Brigade to just get away for the weekend and not think about work and just like enjoy spending time with everybody and I can say wholeheartedly that like the second that I walked into Barbell Brigade, the gym for the first time, I already felt at home and like it was my family and I've been going there even though I live three minutes away from Gold's Gym Venice, I will drive 35 minutes in the opposite direction to go to Barbell Brigade a couple times a week just because I absolutely love the atmosphere, I love the people and I was just really happy that they invited me into their family with like open arms and stay tuned for more videos in the future. I'm gonna be working with them a little bit more closely over the next time frame. So um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching the new little family that I've been welcomed into and I will catch you guys in the next one. Dominate humbly. When I first started working with Barbell, they actually asked me to do a couple of videos before we talked about an athlete partnership. And I was just like, yeah, that's so cool. I would love to. I just kind of felt like I already was welcomed into like the family that they had and like the close knit community. So I thought it was just really fun to connect with them in that way where it wasn't just me going to the gym and like saying, hey, what's up? Nice to see you guys. It was more of like, let's talk, let's communicate. And we got to collaborate in like a work kind of setting versus just a friendship setting but it made the friendship stronger too. My mom actually was with me visiting when we had a meeting at Bart's office about this. And my mom was there and she was like asking him a bunch of questions and he was answering really well and it was really funny. But I'm really excited because number one, it's not the same thing that everyone else is doing, but it's also because my favorite thing in the world is working with a company where I actually really like the people and like the message behind it. And it's not just about how much money they can make or how much snazzy marketing they can do to make the brand like the biggest that it can possibly be. Um, I love all that, but that's not what makes a brand for me and it's not what makes a partnership with a company. It's really like the people, how they treat me, like number one example. I wasn't even an athlete yet and they took me to their outing at Big Bear last year. Like we had just been in conversation and they like invited me all the way to Big Bear. We all went up together and we had like such a great time and we ate and we hung out and we played capture the flag and I just kind of felt part of the family regardless of me even being on the team yet or not. And that was just really a stand up move to me. It proved to me a lot of things about them and who they are as a company and who they are as people. And the people is really what makes a difference for me. Yep. 
I think that there is a certain kind of person that is internally motivated. I think it can be learned, but I think the biggest difference of people who are kind of just really driven and not is why is it necessary for you? I think people are either motivated by money, challenge, or time. And for me, the more kind of time that I can get with quality people, with family, relaxing, resting, where I don't have to feel like I'm always scrambling, and I can kind of take a step back and just spend more quality time not only just spending time with people that I love, but just focusing on being outwardly giving and having the time and the bandwidth mentally and physically to do that, or I don't have to feel kind of stressed to the point where um, I'm spinning my wheels. For anyone who's kind of looking to do what I have done, my biggest piece of advice is to ask a lot of questions. So the second that you think that you know everything is the minute that you know absolutely nothing. Immerse yourself into perfecting your skill, perfecting your craft, and then just asking like how you can be better, figuring out how you can be better. And number two, not just asking the questions, but finding the answers from people who have done it before. Finding a coach or a mentor was really amazing for me. After three bikini competitions of prepping myself, I finally hired a competition prep coach. And then after two years, of building my business myself, I finally hired a business mentor and coach. And both times, I was able to accelerate so quickly that it was just so mind-blowing because I was just able to get the answers from people who had already done it before. And I've kind of just turned it into this whole thing where nothing is really sustainable nowadays and the more streams of revenue that you can make for yourself, the more of an impact you can have on people, the more people that you can connect with. And I kind of just learned that utilizing social media and you like the fact that you can leverage it so much to do something so impactful for not only yourself but for your audience is just really cool and it's just one of those opportunities that I never thought I would have.